Hey guys, Brutal here. Welcome back to Farming Simulator 2019. Here we are for another episode of our Rags to Riches series. So I have finished off um, collecting all the grass. Uh, we'll take you guys down there quickly and have a look. Um, and I've put all the grass into the silage bunker. I've leveled it all out, covered it all, and I think we might have about 90,000 litres or so um, in the bunker itself. I'm kind of thinking maybe we should have got the standard bunker, but this one will work. Um, it just says fermenting silage. It doesn't tell us how much is in there. Um, and that's fermenting silage over there too, which is strange. Anyway, I think it's about 90,000 litres, so I stuck it all up the back corner to start with, as you guys have seen, and then I thought, oh, I don't know, we'll run it out a little bit, and I've leveled it out, compacted it down, and it looks a lot better, because that um, machine we're using over there, which picks up the grass, can also pick up silage. So we can use him to load the silage back into that trailer and actually go and sell it as well. So, all right, so on today's agenda, we're going to look at spreading our lime. So 1442, zero degrees. When we get down the other end, we're going to need to look at... Um, let me have a look. That is not even spreading lime properly. Well, that is an absolute pain. But now it is. Sort of. Yep. Tree stump. So, from doing all that, we've missed a whole heap. So, um, that's, that's not very impressive, to be honest as a mod, unfortunately, so I'm going to get rid of that. That is bloody terrible, to be honest. Um, I think it did alright with fertiliser, just not very good with our lime. So I might need to get one of these guys, two grand. I think I'm just going to lease it. I mean, I don't want to, but I can't find any other lime spreaders. I can't find any windrowers. I found another tether, um, a class tether, which looks pretty old school. I haven't put it into the game as yet, but um, that is there, so we can use that guy. But that, yeah, let's. Uh, I'll try not to be negative, um, but unfortunately, that that just doesn't meet my standards or anybody's standards, I don't think. So. We're going to have to buy some more lime now because we couldn't actually empty it out of um, that spreader. So, we'll do that and we'll do what I usually do, throw these up on top. Which I think that sort of isn't working now. There we go. Oh no. <laughs> Doesn't want to work. I don't know which one's loading into there, but we'll get it loaded up anyway, and go from there. I think they take 10,000 litres, close to 10,000 litres. We'll start that tractor back up, ready to go. We should get 8,000 litres of lime in here. What is the width? That's the next question. Uh, 12 metres. So we set ourselves up in the right direction, we'll do our manual GPS as we usually do. Just need to zoom in there, there we go, so we can get through and stop it. Um, everything, so that was 6 metres width, so if we sort of line up alongside this guy. Right, so 1445, 0 degrees go through then we need to add 12 meters to 14.45 then we might just go 10 just to make sure we're sort of not missing anything um, I'd rather do that than sort of miss bits and pieces and have to come back and fix it up again so we'll do a run down this side of the field down the bottom 
o'clock, so 1445, so it'll be 1455. Fifty-five. try to get 180 degrees there we go that'll do and then we need to go to 1465 for the run back down again so obviously it's overlapping that little bit but I'd rather overlap than have bits and pieces missed and you can clearly see now that it's limed everything except for a little bit on the other side that I've missed so it's not too bad right, I'm gonna do sort of a run along here same as we did down the other end. Uh, we'll turn around, get ourselves set up to do 1465 at zero degrees. We'll head off. There's going to be little bits like that. I'm going to have to touch up for my swinging around, but we'll fix it up when we get this done. And then I'm going to have to bring cultivator over and start cultivating here as well. I don't think I need to lime over there, no. I'm going to have to spray here as well. So I might even lime and then see if we can spray. 1475, there we go. Try and get ourselves to 180. We should be able to spray now and then cultivate and then seed and fertilized at the same time hopefully that would be um, pretty good if we could still need to spend a little bit of time um, off camera cutting down some of these trees um, getting them out of the way because they're just to be honest they're just a bloody pain especially down this end this end is not too bad we've got a bit of a gap between the field and the trees but there has a pain. All the ones over here we can get rid of. All the ones down there we can get rid of. So it's going to take us a little while to get them all cut and taken away. But um, that is on my to-do list. Completely <laughs> missed that then. That was terrible. Alright, so I'm not going to return this spreader. Um, I did say that we would, but I'm not going to until we can find something that fits the game better than what this does. So it's too new for us to be using on this farm, but it's our only option at the moment. There's no other lime spreaders that work unless we turn liming off completely, and I'd rather not do that. So I'd rather leave it on and just have to, you know, grit and bear it and use this thing. Okay, I think there's a little spot here somewhere. Yep, let's see here. just a little bit down the side of this field so we'll just run down here until we run out of lime and that'll be it then we'll go and grab our truck fertilize the truck and fertilize the field so I'll take this back to the shop I'll stick it back in the shed for him so it's now the elements our bale trailer still there ready to go so we can use that for um, our logs and stuff, chucking some of our logs on there once we actually cut them down. Can we fit? Oh, the tractor fits. Only barely. It shouldn't fit, but it does. Alright, so we'll head on over. This is not our strongest tractor, so we'll uh, attach him to the cedar. Um, so oat, canola, soy beans, all seed radish. Let's go um, canola this time. Park you there for the minute. So we'll do we out. Plus the dinger. Grab this guy and we'll um, spray our field. We still need to find a pressure sprayer too, which suits the map, which is going to be hard to find, but. See how we go. Oh, so we'll spray this guy. I don't think we'll be able to spray field 41 just yet, but we'll take him over there and get ready to go so we can spray the field. One thing I was going to do was um, change... 
out the front here. I'm going to put proper um, concrete in out the front. Just there. It's probably the only change I wanted to make, just so we sort of don't have any more dramas with hay or anything, and that sort of stuff, or the worker struggling at the end of each, at, at the field, if we do happen to hire a worker to do it again, which is probably not likely the way that they went that last episode, but we'll have to see how they go. Um, that's going to be obviously our main farm where our house and stuff is, so I think us having proper cement in and out of there is probably going to be the way to go. So I'm still not sure which house to use, maybe this one. It's a frame house with shed. I still haven't found like a an old truck or something that we could use as sort of like our car. Sort of get around the map without um, taking tractors everywhere. Um, so I'm going to have to keep an eye out for one of those. There was some sort of an old school car that I did see, believe it or not. Um, but I sort of, I still didn't think it sort of fit what we were actually doing. Um, as, as good as it did look, I prefer to sort of get like an old pickup truck. Um, similar to like the Ford F100 or something. But I don't know if you'd ever see one of those. Um, on a map like this. I mean, this guy, you probably would, like a 1978 truck, so that is an option. If we don't find something else better, I guess. That's so another run with this fertiliser, and then we'll be finished. I'll still look at some jobs, there's still a lot of cultivating, a lot of baling stuff to be done. Um, but they want them all made into silage bales, which we can't do, so... Um, yeah. We can bale them, but we can't turn them into silage bales. Unfortunately. That must mean there is like a, a heap of like grass fields and stuff then. Go growth type grass. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 15 or so grass fields. So that is a crazy amount. Actually, I was going to take this guy over here, won't we? So we sort of sneak through here. So turn all this into like asphalt, like this is here. Eventually. I'm going to see, I don't think. Um, allow us to fertilize the next stage just yet. No, actually it will. There we go. Let's quickly fertilize this field as well. At least that way we know it's done and out of the way. So go down at zero degrees. Can we see the difference? Yeah, I can see the difference just. We should be able to get a run across there. demand at the bio milk or bio milch for milk which we don't have yet um, you guys still need to let me know what sort of animals should we start with should we start with cows straight away should we go with chickens should we go with sheep um, what do you guys think what would be um, the best thing to start with or should we even go with horses to start with um, that's an option because that's probably the easiest way for us to make money pretty early on is horses of course it's going to take us a fair few days to get them up to the $50,000 they're worth each but um, yeah I think horses is probably the best income over the 10 day period but you guys let me know more than happy to do chickens if that's what you guys want to do but um yeah, leave it in the comment section. Let me know what you think, and um, we'll go from there. Oh, so another run down. So I could probably hire a worker to start cultivating, but I want to do a couple of runs across this. Run down that way, a couple of runs 
backwards or forwards and run up that way a couple of runs and then get them going. That way those trees and the fences aren't sort of getting in their way. So as we know we sort of will come into our field, we'll come into here which will be our home area and our storage area and over there will be our animals. And that, there's only one way in, one way out for these three fields so I think I picked a pretty good spot to start to be honest. Grab that little spot there. Don't know if we're going to get. Nah, I'm not going to get it all done in that one run, unfortunately. Come back and touch that up again. So, yeah, so our next plan will be to get field 40, 182,000, which is a lot that we don't have. But as I said, like when we go through here, the only way through to this field is. Spin that camera around and get the right spot is through there. There's no other way into the field, which is good. So we've got to sort of come in through there and into there. So we should be the only ones that sort of have access to it. Um, I do really enjoy this mod. There's only one thing I don't like, and that is the sprays at the back don't have a hitbox so they go straight through things like that which isn't a bad thing for me because you know how bad I'm at lining things up but that's probably the only negative otherwise I think this mod is pretty awesome I guess one of the other things is the dirt in the cab but that's not a bad thing either because we're getting in and out we would make it dirty anyway So this is the last run that we'll be able to go and park the truck up. Well, I think we probably won't need him again for that field, so I might park it over here somewhere sort of out of the way. Back it in down behind the silo bunker here. So I'm hiding out down here and then Go and jump in our other truck. Or our tractor, even. I'm trying to set us up at zero degrees. Got missed a little bit at the start. I know we didn't. 360 was zero. Close on two. It is usually pretty hard to keep it that um, level but Let's see how we go so I'm not usually too worried about doing a run down that side it's usually a run down here and a run back up because of the way that the field sort of isn't square sort of runs off to the right a little bit So there, then we'll do, as I said, a run up, a run back, to give us sort of a bit of gap to the tree stumps and those trees in the fence. We've still got to finish cutting those trees, I've still got to get rid of the stumps, um, all that sort of stuff, but I think I might have to spend a bit of time off camera doing that. You guys let me know if you would like to see me do some logging cutting down all these trees and get rid of them or just do it off camera or do it as a time lapse you guys let me know more than happy to do it so either way whatever you guys prefer all right let's head back up this will be our last run up Put ourselves up at 180 degrees should overlap that side pretty nicely perfect Maybe a little bit too much, but that's all right. Um, so where's our canola here? Is so canola so soybean is way above canola. Even oats is above canola right now. So we might um, plant some oats. I think that way we can still get um, our straw bales out of it as well, or just straight straw. Whatever we want to do, we can get straw bales or straight straw. Um, have that 
either there for our animals or we can have it so we um, sell it straight away and make money. Alright, so I'm going to head back to the start, hire a worker, get him to start getting this done and then I'll come along and I'll seed behind, try and um, get it done as quick as we can. Okay, so off you go. Cycle you back through to oats. Off we go. It's only three meter wide cedar, but it does work. I've never, ever really used uh, what do they call ridge markers. I'm not quite sure why you'd want to use them. There we go. I'm going to go back to the other end. I'm going to touch up this little spot here we've missed. Go back to this other end. At least that way I can square off with the bottom end of that field. So there's not much else we can do besides seeding at the moment. There is a bit of mowing that needs to be done around the field. Um, there's possibly mowing that needs to be done up at our friend's store. But I'm not going to get that done today. You guys have seen me mow enough already. So possibly get that done off camera. Actually, this thing doesn't seed and um, fertilize, it just seeds. I think it might have been that other one that we had that went a thousand miles an hour that um, fertilized at the same time. Alright, there we go. Keep heading up. Farmer Bob over here doing his thing. Both cracking on, getting the job done. So I'm not sure how long it'll take for us to get that um, silage ready to go, but that will probably be our next episode, I guess. Unloading the silage, going to sell on that, seeing what sort of money we make and um, what we can do from there. I was sort of looking at, um, we can upgrade our harvester sometime soon if we want, or we can go straight into animals. We can start, or we'll finish building our farm area. That's probably one of our priorities as well. Um, or look at a uh, forage harvester, which was another possibility, which is I thought of that we could have a look at. Um, so 35,000, 10,000 litres. Uh, where are we? Forage harvester headers. Make sure we're still sort of run the right way. Um, but one that picks up grass and straw. That one just does corn. So that'll pick up grass once it's cut. Okay, I missed a little bit there. So I don't think it actually... Well, actually, it'll cut the grass, will it? Or will it pick, I think it will just pick it up. I don't think it'll actually cut it. Because it's not a cutter, I don't think. I need to try and line ourselves back up again. I might even quickly hire a worker just to... Keep us heading straight while we have a quick look. So, this guy, um, I think it will cut and pick up, maybe, or just cut. That just picks up, but that cuts. So, I'm not quite sure. Um, how's the Rostel Mash? 221,000 for the Rostel Mash, which is way too expensive for us anytime soon. So, I think the idea of um, getting a forage harvest that probably isn't going to happen anytime soon. I'll have to test it out um, on another map, the Fort Street, and see if um, it just collects it or if it actually cuts it as well before we try and buy it for here. Because as I said, it is pretty cheap. 
um, only 35,000. So if we can get that and um, use that to pick up all that grass over there, it'll be a lot better than using our mowers. But I don't know if that'll cut or just pick up. I might see what um, other jobs are on available at the moment. If we can get like a spraying job or something, we'll probably get that done while these guys are um, seeding and stuff. So we need H for a hard work up. Let's have a look. Uh, fertilizing field 32. Three grand, which isn't bad. Let's um, let's take that contract. These guys can hopefully get all this done hopefully he gets that bit awesome all right, so let's go and find where's field 32 uh, okay that's going to be an interesting one to find our way to uh, I'm gonna change it to sculpting uh, where are we field 32 which is this guy um, in here, which comes all the way down. So turn right after field 36. All right, we'll go and get that done. Oh, there's <laughs> that's that PTO glitch again. Oh, that is funny. Some um, mods make you frustrated, but that one just that makes makes it funny. That is pretty interesting. So we'll head down here, down the field 36, and then we'll turn right, head up towards field 32, get that sprayed, and then we'll come back. So field, no, field 38. Oh, we're at field 36. Right, turn off the field 36, didn't have it right. Um, the only thing is, the roads that we have in game, I don't think sometimes they're quite wide enough. They really don't. But that's, I mean, that's wide enough for a truck, but when we've got a tractor and a trailer and we're trying to avoid traffic and that sort of stuff, I don't think it's quite um, as wide as I would like for a game, I should say, because turn too quick. I think the possibility of us hitting another car is pretty high as we've probably already seen uh, in our Marble Manor series. I've run into a few vehicles already on that series. This one, I don't think this map has um, traffic. The map that I'm designing, I don't think it will have traffic either, to be honest. So I'll have to sort of just wait and see. set myself up starting this corner head zero degrees okay, done so we're at 783 so we'll need to move a little bit to the left and work out how far over we need to go it might be 20 meters I can't remember exactly now Field 32, we're on the right field, that's the main thing. So 7.83. Turn around to our left, line ourselves up again and hopefully not have any issues. Right, so 7... At 767, so we took six meters off. Okay, all right, so we'll take six meters off the other way, so we'll go down to 761. Let's see how that looks. Overlapping that little bit, but 
it's not going to matter too much. I'd rather overlap a little bit than not overlap at all. Alright, there's our timer going off. Let me turn that off. Um, actually, I think... Did we have the right number before? Seven sixty-one. That's seven fifty-one. So we took ten meters off that time. Or well, fifty-two. We're at fifty-one. So we go to seven forty-one. See how that looks. So I thought it was like a twenty-four meter width, but I'm not one hundred percent sure. Um, I don't know to be honest. I feel like I'm way off with my numbers. Again. It's probably easier if we just line it up and just do 180 degrees and zero degrees. Without having to worry too much. But um righto guys, what I'll do is I'll get this finished. I'll um, finish the other field as well. Hopefully we'll come back when our silage is ready to go and next episode we'll start running some silage to the cell point and um, start making some money. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this episode. If you did, as always, smash that like button. Um, leave a comment, let me know if you've been enjoying it. Uh, if there's anything you do want to see, don't want to see, cutting down those trees, getting rid of that, or anything else, let me know. If you're new to the channel and haven't subscribed yet, guys, please do so. It's been Prado. Thanks for watching. See you again soon.